මෙම වැඩසටහන ඔබ වෙත ගෙන ඉන්නේ E-Soft Metro Campus ලව්‍ය දැනුමින් ඔබේ අනාගතය හැදගන්වයි. Good evening. Out of more than 1000 students, 108 students were able to shortlist for the preliminary rounds of a national level quiz competition based on information technology. Out of the 108 students, 36 students were selected for the secondary rounds. And tonight we have six of those 36 competing to go into the semi-finals of IT Mastermind 2014. IT Mastermind 2014 is brought to you by the Computer Society of Sri Lanka, strategically partnered by eSoft Metro Campus and media partnered by ITN. Let's meet our contestants tonight. Contestant number one, Ashobika from Sri Shanmuga Hindu Ladies College, Trincomalee. Contestant number two, Nipun Dabare, Holy Cross College, Kalutara. Contestant number three, MIM Yazir, Amal International School, Colombo. Contestant number four, Aditya Ramani Duran, Vermbadi Girls High School, Jaffna. Contestant number five, Chamathevagama Mahinda College, Gol. And contestant number six, Krishen Lloyd, St. Joseph's College, Watala. And our judges for tonight, Dr. Dilina Herath, Dean, ESOFT Metro Campus. And Mr. Damit Hettiheva, Council Member, Computer Society of Sri Lanka. And our quiz master tonight, as always, the very experienced Mr. Faisal Bongzo. Thank you very much, Muru. A very good evening and a warm welcome. We are at the fifth secondary round program and of course we are having the best of the best here today they are the winners or runners up of the preliminary round programs and uh, this is of course IT Masterminds 2014 it's indeed a pleasure to be your quiz master well we've got six contestants as always representing schools from all over Sri Lanka and they will be facing four rounds of competition where the winner and the runner-up will proceed to the semi-finals now each round will be judged and points will be allocated and added and you've got to remember that the decision of the judges will be final. We move on to round one. We will be posing a multiple choice question. And uh, this will be posed to each of you individual students where you will earn 10 points for a correct answer. Of course, the other contestants, you can also register your answers by your terminals and you can earn three points for each correct answer. But you've got to keep in mind that you will lose two points for each incorrect answer. So good luck to all of you as we move on to questions for round one. And this is your question. Contestant number one, Ashobika. Which of the following is not an impact printer? Daisy wheel printer, chain printer, thermal printer, dot matrix printer. Thermal printer. The answer is correct. As we continue with the questions for round one, and it's your question now, contestant number two. Which of the following is not a MS DOS command? Is it MKDIR, is it delete, is it CD, or is it copy? Answer A. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is B, delete. We move on to your question now, contestant number three. Which of the following is not a valid command in SQL? Is it insert, delete, alter, or print? A. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is D, print. Here's your question now, and that was, of course, not answered by uh, Yazir. This time it's your question, contestant number four, Aditya. This is your question. Uh, which of the following is not a primitive data type in Java? Is it string? Is it char? Is it long? Or is it float? String? Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question, contestant number five, Chamath. 
Which of the following is not a high-level programming language? Is it Fortran? Is it COBOL? Is it Eclipse? Or is it Pascal? Pascal. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is Eclipse. And this is the final question for round one, and it's to you, our sixth contestant. Which of the following is not a wireless communication standard? Is it LTE? Is it Edge? Is it TFT? Or is it GSM? TFT, C. C. Yes, the answer is correct. And with that, we end all the questions for round one. Let's find out who's taken the lead after the first round. Bringing world-class higher education to your doorstep. Esoft Metro Campus. Shaping lives, creating futures. Bachelors at 19? In Sri Lanka? My ambition is to finish my master's at 21 and become a senior manager when I'm 25. I joined Esoft straight after my O-levels. Start your IT or business management degree straight after O-levels. Esoft. Shaping lives, creating future. Never the IT then um a promoke again Pamanai. Esau. We have just completed the first round. Three more rounds to go, but let's see how our contestants have fared at the end of round one. In third place, we have contestant number four, Aditya Ramani Dharan from Vermbadi Girls High School, Jaffna, with eight points. In second place, we have contestant number six, Krishan Lloyd from St. Joseph's College, Vattala, with nine points. And leading at the end of round one is contestant number one, Ashobika from Sri Shanmuga Hindu Ladies College, Trincomalee, with 22 points. Over to you, Faisal, for round two. Thank you very much, Muru. Well, this is where the competition will all begin. As we move on to round two here, we will be posing a question based on an image, and you have to answer individually. And you will earn 10 points for a correct answer. The others can buzz if you know the answer. And if the first student either does not answer or gives the incorrect answer, the opportunity will go to the contestant who buzzes first. Now, the correct answer will earn you five points, but an incorrect answer will make you lose two points. So let's move on to the questions for round two. And this is your question. Contestant number one, identify the person shown in this image. Julian SNJ? Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question. Contestant number two. What is the name of the equipment shown in this image? Imiak? Yes, the answer is correct. We move on to your question now. Contestant number three. Using a computer incorrectly can lead to pain and injury. What is this type of injury known as? Resistive strain injury. RSI or resistive injury? RSI, okay, we can take it as an answer. RSI, which is repetitive strain or stress injury. Uh, this is your question. Contestant number four. These devices have been designed to suit the natural curves of the human body. What is this type of design known as? Hand-type? Hand-type boss? Hand-type boss? No. Number five? Streamline? No. Streamline is also not accepted. It's an ergonomic design. This is your question. Contestant number five. What is the name of the equipment known in this image? Rotary? 
Well, none of you seem to know the answer. It is Univac. And this is the final question in round two for you, contestant number six. What is the name of the equipment shown in this image? Typewriter? No. DC printer? No. Well, none of you seem to know the answer. The answer is Enigma. And with that, we end questions for round two. Let's find out who's taken the lead after two rounds of competition. Pilikat Usas Adhapanavasta over Cemetery Viver Kradina, East of the Metro Campus, Nauve Danumin Obe Anagati Hadaganwai. Is that 19? In Sri Lanka? My ambition is to finish my master's at 21 and become a senior manager when I'm 25. I joined eSoft straight after my O levels. Start your IT or business management degree straight after O levels. eSoft, shaping lives, creating future. This is the question for you, our viewers. Who were the founding partners of Microsoft? Who were the founding partners of Microsoft? SMS your answer to 0725-547-547 before noon this Thursday. I now have the results at the end of, end of round two. In third place, we have contestant number three, M.I.M. Yazid of Amal International School, Colombo, with 12 points. In second place, we have contestant number two, Nipun Dabare of Holy Cross College, Kalutura, with 14 points. And leading at the end of round two, we have contestant number one, Ashobika from Sri Shanmuga Hindu Ladies College, Trincomalee, with 32 points. Over to you, Faisal, for round three. Thank you, Miru. Well, the competition will start mounting from now on. As we move on to round three, we'll be posing an open-ended question, and you have to answer individually. You will earn 10 points for a correct answer, and in same as in round two, the others can make an attempt by using the buzzer. So here we go with your questions for round three. Contestant number one. What is the name of the service used for downloading applications, music and videos for Apple devices? iTunes. iTunes. Okay, taken as an answer. Right, we're moving on to your question now, contestant number two. SVG is a popular graphic file type. What does SVG stand for? Serial Video Graphics. Say it again. Serial Video Graphics. No. Uh, number three would like to answer this. Super Vector Graphics. No, it's not accepted. The answer is Scalable Vector Graphics. Right, this is your question now. Contestant number three. Some software are available for free with limited features for evaluation purposes and you are expected to pay and obtain the full software. What is such software known as? Number six would like to answer this question. Trial software. No, the answer is shareware. This is your question now. Contestant number four. With relation to file systems, what does FAT stand for? F A T. Well, contestant number five seems to know the answer. File allocation table. Yes, the answer is correct. And here's your question now, contestant number five. Some software are available for free with full features and you are not expected to pay a license fee. What is such software known as? Open source software. Open. Source. J 
charges. I'm waiting for your approval. No, no it's not accepted. It's freeware. Yes, the answer is correct. Freeware. <laughs> and here is the final question in this round, round three. With relation to file systems, what does NTFS stand for? Well, number five has indicated his willingness to answer this. New technology file system. Yes, the answer is correct. <laughs> and with that, we end all the questions for round three. Let's find out who's taken the lead after round three. உலக தரம் வாய்ந்த உயர்கல்வி வாய்ப்புகள் உங்களுக்காக கொண்டு வரப்பட்டுள்ளன ஈஸ் ஆஃப் மெட்ரோ கேம்பஸ் ஷேப்பிங் லைஃப் கிரியேட்டிங் ஃபியூச்சர்ஸ் Tell us about yourself. I'm 19 and just finished my bachelor's in IT. Bachelor's at 19 in Sri Lanka? My ambition is to finish my master's at 21 and become a senior manager when I'm 25. So I skipped my A levels and joined directly to the degree program. That's great. We didn't have that opportunity. Start your IT or business management degree straight after O levels at eSoft. This is the question for you our viewers. Who were the founding partners of Microsoft? Who were the founding partners of Microsoft? SMS your answer to 0725547547 before noon this Thursday. And here are the winners of last week. We have just completed the third round. Let's see how our contestants have fared at the end of the third round. In third place, we have contestant number five, Chama Thevagam of Mahinda College with 13 points. In second place we have contestant number 2 Nipun Dabare of Holy Cross College with 19 points. And leading in this round as well we have contestant number 1 Ashobika from Sri Shanmuga Hindu Ladies College with 42 points. Over to you Faisal for the final round. Thank you Muru well Contestants, as you all know, only the winner and the runner-up will move into the semi-finals. Well, we certainly have a clear leader at the moment, but of course, we don't have anybody with a clear position for second place. Anybody has not secured uh, a very clear lead for second place. So we're moving on to this decisive round. This is round four. Good luck to the six of you. This is where we use the same format as in round three, and the contestants will be answering open-ended questions, and the judges will be evaluating your answers. So good luck in this decisive round. As we start off with your question, contestant number one, what does PDF stand for? Personal digital file. No. Number five would like to answer this question. portable document format yes the answer is correct here's your question contestant number 2 what does the term vlsi stand for well number 4 would like to answer this question very large scale integration say that again very large scale integration yes the answer is correct very large scale integration here's your question contestant number 3 what law describes the fact that on average computers have doubled in processing power every 18 to 24 months well no one seems to know the answer the answer is moore's law Here's your question now contestant number 
Web was a popular mechanism in the early 2000s for developing mobile accessible websites. What does WAP WAP stand for? White Area Protocol. Pardon? White Area Protocol. No. It's number six. You press the buzzer, but you will lose points because you press the buzzer. So the answer is wireless application protocol. Here's your question now, contestant number five. What basic security software should you install on your computer to prevent outsiders from gaining access to it? Firewall. Yes, the answer is correct, firewall. <laughs> and the final question in this particular round, the decisive round, it's for you, contest number six. TDM is a type of multiplexing used in networking. What does TDM stand for? Once again, contest number five has indicated his willingness to answer. Time division multiplexing. Yes, the answer is correct. <laughs> and with that, we end all the questions for today's program. Let's find out as to who has emerged the winner and the runner-up who will go into the semi-finals of IT Masterminds 2014. I now have the final results of the fifth secondary round program of IT Mastermind 2014. In sixth place, we have contestant number six, Christian Lloyd of St. Joseph's College, Watala. In fifth place, we have contestant number three, MIM Yazir of Amal International School, Colombo. In fourth place, we have Aditya Ramanidharan from Vermbody Girls High School, Jaffna, with 13 points. In third place, we have contestant number two, Nipun Dabre of Holy Cross College, Kalutara. Before I announce the runner-up and the winner who will proceed to the semi-finals, let me call upon to award the medals and the certificates on stage. Dr. Prasanna Lakuge, Director eSoft Metro Campus, Nugegoda, and Mr. Prabhat Vikramaratna, Assistant Treasurer, Computer Society of Sri Lanka. And the runner-up of this program is contestant number five. Chamath Hevagama of Mahinda College Gaul scoring 33 points. And the winner of this program of IT Mastermind 2014 is contestant number one, Ashobika from Sri Shanmuga Hindu Ladies College, Trincomalee, with 42 points. That's all we have for you on this edition of IT Mastermind 2014. Join us next week, same time, same place, as we continue the quest in search of the next IT Mastermind 2014. Good night. Obey Anagati Hadagan Wai.